bought this chicken wire ribbon at Hobby Lobby on sale for $2.39 a roll. Let's make something with it. Here we go. So we are going to cut strips with this that are about 42 inches long for a standard wine bottle. And these rolls of chicken wire are 15 feet long. So, and like I said, it is chicken wire, so the ends, when you cut them, they're gonna be sharp. Be very careful with it. On one roll, you will get four of the strips. Once you cut your strips, you're gonna work with one of them at a time. And as you see, they stick together, so be careful. You're going to take your strip and then fold it in half and find out where the middle is. Then leave a little bit of that bend in the middle and put your wine glass on top of it. Now mine is empty and so it is gonna move it just a little. And we're going to bend the chicken wire around like this and kind of try to make it into a curved shape. I'm going to take the ends and push them together like I said be careful it is chicken wire and then try to twist them just a little you don't have to get crazy so they'll turn up toward the spout and look like this. And you want this bottle to be in the middle of that bend. If it moves, don't worry about it because we're not going to glue the bottom yet. Okay? And that's what that's going to look like. Can you tell what we're trying to make? Okay, as you can see, we are trying to make a pumpkin form. And don't worry if it looks wonky. We just want to get all of these glued to the stem to start with. And we're going to be, we're using hot glue right now just to get them on. Then we're going to use a little E6000 and then you'll see how we'll secure it perfectly. Here is our pumpkin form going around with the chicken wire. So now what we're going to do, I use hot glue to put this on. I'm going to be trying to use it on my porch. So I want it to last with the elements. So I'm going to put some E6000 glue all the way around all of those connections onto the wine bottle. Then, before we secure it, I have some fairy lights. Okay, here I'm making the stem, and as you can see, I'm using the nautical rope just as is. I tried to use it taken apart, but it was just fraying everywhere and I didn't like that. We're not going to see most of it anyway by the time I'm done with this. You guys all know how extra I can be. I just want to make a stem here on this pumpkin. So I'm simply just wrapping it around and gluing it and I glued it to the battery pack and to this chicken wire that is obviously not going to come off for any reason whatsoever. Where I am 
so far. Now, if you saw everything in the video, I decided to go ahead and use the rope that's a full piece of rope instead of taking the pieces apart. I started to do that, but it shed really bad. And you're not gonna see it very much once I start embellishing this. Now, the easiest way to do this, because I know a lot of people are gonna say, well, why didn't she just crisscross all the pieces down, glue them to the bottom of the bottle, and then glue the sides up? I did attempt that. It is harder to do that way because you need to manipulate the wire quite a bit, and it will pull it off the bottom if you're using just hot glue. If you are going to be doing it with E6000 that way and gluing the bottom down, you're gonna have to wait for a long time for it to dry, and so I didn't wanna do that. I wanted to get it put together and then just use a little E6000 to guarantee that this is going to stay together because I want to put it on my porch. Now when you're done gluing all the top parts to the neck of the bottle and you do your rope at the top, it's going to look a hot mess. This wire will be all bent up. It won't look like this. You'll have to just shape it after. It didn't take me long, less than five minutes, and I like the shape of it. If you're OCD like me and you think it should be perfectly even all the way around, don't make this project because it won't be. Mine is not perfectly even all around, but it looks like a regular pumpkin. You know, they grow in the wild. They're not perfect. So the next thing we're going to do is then glue the bottom sections to the bottom of the wine bottle, and I want it to lay as flat as possible. So I'm going to do it inside of the bottom of the wine bottle. It does have an indentation in it. And then I'm gonna take a piece of old car card stock that I had left over and cut it in a circle and glue that on top of the bottom, like, you know, underneath with a little E6000 to guarantee it's gonna stay. So now it's time to decorate the top. You know, pumpkins have leaves and things and you guys already know how extra I am. So I have all kinds of ribbon. I have two of them sitting here, but I have a whole box of ribbon sitting by me. And I just thought, how cool would it be to use my pumpkin ribbon on a pumpkin? So I pulled that one out. I also pulled this one out because it had little gold wire and since the chicken wire is gold, I thought it was good and it also had green. I have a few more sitting here. I might use some of them too. I have a whole bunch of little pieces of things that I keep from other projects that I didn't use at all and so all of those are sitting here. And then I have these beautiful picks that I got from Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago on clearance at the end of the season and I have two of them. I didn't even take off the tags yet. They were regular $2.99, but you know, I probably got them something like 90% off. And I think these will go perfect. I am not worried about the stem, like I said before, because I'm going to cover up a lot of it. And I'm also going to cover up the light box so you won't see it. So let's get to decorating and then I'll show you how it looks in the end. Here is my final project. I am in love with it. I cannot believe that it turned out this nice. When I saw that Hobby Lobby had the chicken wire ribbon, I knew I wanted to make something with it other than a bows. So I found my ribbon, the silver one, over a month ago and my little brain just started ticking and I came up with this. I thought I could make a metal pumpkin. I have seen metal pumpkins and I've seen pumpkins with a little chicken wire on them, but I said, let's make the whole thing from scratch with just chicken wire with no form or anything with it. And this is how it turned out. Now you could have done this with a tall hurricane um, vase to go in the middle, but I figured why spend the extra dollar at Dollar Tree to buy that when I already had some empty wine bottles and I could use the neck for the stem. And so that is what I did. So the chicken wire right now at Hobby Lobby is on sale for $2.39 for 15 feet of it. And I use one spool of it. I did buy two, as you guys saw. And if I were you, I would buy two just in case if you want to make this, you have mistakes or your 
um, wine bottle is bigger than what mine is you might want to make your pumpkin bigger and like I did I would glue on the tops to the neck of the bottle before I glued the bottom you could glue the bottom first if you want I was working on doing that but it will just come loose unless of course you glue it down with hot glue and E6000 and let it dry overnight and come back to the project the next day and we all know I don't have patience for that so <laughs> what I did was do it the way I did and make the stem and then it's easy to manipulate the bottom and get it glued now this whole project is super super light super light I'm gonna be putting it on my porch I think I am going to then take a piece of leftover scrap wood I think it's a six by two or a six by one that I have and I am going to glue this down to this I may even staple the chicken wire down to it because if the wind hits this it's going over it is that light if you make it you will see so if you're planning to put it somewhere outside you will have to weight it down and I did sneak in one <laughs> glitter pumpkin. You have to have a pumpkin on a pumpkin for this project. So I snuck one in and I think it goes well with it. It's, it doesn't bother me at all. So you can decorate this any kind of way you want. They have this um, chicken wire in silver like normal. They have gold and they had copper. I really wanted to do the copper, but they don't have the copper anywhere in my area. So I ended up doing the gold and I really do like it. So that is it for this video. I think I said the worst part about this project, maybe I didn't, is the hot glue hairs that you get. Chicken wires in love with it. It is like a magnet. So be really careful when you're using your hot glue where you get the long strands when you pull your gun away. It will get entangled in the chicken wire and that actually for me was the worst part of this entire project is picking it all out. So now that is it for this video. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, for watching, and always sharing my videos. And if you are not a member here at Lacey Space yet, I don't know why not, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, become a member, hang out with us for a while. We have a lot of fun here. Also, I want to let you guys know that my sister Chrissy, who has her own channel here on YouTube, Make It With Chrissy, and I will put it across the screen here in the description box down below, is also making something with chicken wire and I do believe it may be something in the same theme as my video. She will be posting this here on Friday. It is Thursday night right now. I'm going to be posting this shortly, I do believe. So go over and check her out and see what she made with her chicken wire as well. Also, one more thing. I want to say a shout out to my girl, George. She's been on this channel before. It's my BFF, Michelle. I burnt myself this time. <laughs> she burns herself every single time she used her hot glue gun on my channel and I never burn myself ever. And chicken wire doesn't catch hot glue when it falls through it, but your hand does. I burnt my thumb. So you guys be really, really careful with this. Don't do what I did because it was pretty bad. So George, yep, I did it this time. Also, if you like, you can follow me on Instagram. It's Lacey Space, the same way that it is spelled here. And I will catch all of you in my next video. Bye loves.